Critical Discourse Analysis Critical Discourse Analysis therefore examine the form, structure, and content of discourse from the grammar and wording employed in its creation to its reception and interpretation by a wider audience. The employment of verb, pronouns, and nouns within discourse is as much part of this analysis as the assessment of the content and tone of the discourse. Principle of Critical Analysis 8K Theoretical and Methodological Principle of CDA CDA Address Social Problem is a caster's they're not at a dispassionate and objective social science, but as engaged and commitment committed, it is it also seen as a form of intervention in social practice and social relationship. Fairlow and Wodak 1997 to 58 example arguing that many analysis, analysts are political active against razi, racism or as pen, pen, penitism or within the peace movement. What is distinctive in CDA is it intervenes on the side of dominated and oppressed group and against dominating group and that it openly declare the emphasipatory interest that motivate it. Power relations are discursive. This means that the primary focus is on how power relations are exercised and negotiated. In discourse, Perlow and Wodak, 1997, 258. Example, analysis of parliamentary debate and about ethnic affairs. Discourse constitutes society and culture. This is the commonly adopted position that language both reflect and produce social relations in two ways relation. Every instant of language use make it own contribution to repro reproducing and or transforming society culture including power relation. Wodak 1997. Example. Courtroom, trial, church sermon, interview, and powerful speech.